I attempted to find the best of the best vegan burgers around London. East and West, I'm racking up on my bread. Uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla. Too much treat. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I am going to be starting up a series in a way where I go around London as I live in London and tour around the best spots for a particular item. Today's video are going to be the best spots in London for vegan burgers but if you want me to do anything else like pastries, donuts, all the best spots that are vegan in London let me know in the comments section down below. So come along with me to the first spot this week with the two friends on my face. <laughs> so the first spot I ventured out to was on my side of the river, the south side, located in the heart of Brixton within a cluster of food crates can be found Halo Burger. Halo Burger had a really great selection of vegan burgers, chicken nuggets, and delicious sides. They also featured a Biscoff milkshake, which I'm sure you know what to expect next. So guys, we have arrived at the first burger destination. We have arrived at Halo Burger. It is an all vegan burger joint. So hopefully we're gonna get some good burgers here and I'm gonna review them up for you guys. So for each burger spot this week, I'm gonna be basing the scores on the actual burgers and the range that they have in terms of vegan burgers, the taste of the burgers and the presentation. So, cause you often get those burgers and they're presented nice in the picture, but they don't look great in real life. So we'll see how it goes down. To be fair, that burger there looks absolutely banging. So from the menu, we got the Halo Burger and the Smoky Carrot we also got the this isn't chicken nuggets and then the lotus biscoff and chocolate milkshake shake so my friends burgers have arrived I've got the halo burger here and my mum's got the smoky carolina mum what are we giving the presentation out of 10 so far 10 for me I'm gonna say 8 out of 10 the burger actually looks replicate to the picture shown we've got also got the biscoff milkshake here and then the chocolate milkshake for my mum with the this isn't chicken nuggets so we're gonna delve into these burgers now and just score them on the taste now my mum's mm. already taken the bite out of her smoky carolina burger delicious. how did you find it oh delicious i love the onion strips the onion strips they do look amazing i've had a piece myself delicious this burger has two beyond patties um one there and one there then they've got it filled with cheese some gherkins some lettuce and some tomato with some vegan mayonnaise let's have a little taste test okay i can barely bite into this burger because it's humongous it may look small in the video but it is quite big and i've got a tiny mouth <laughs> however the taste i would say an eight out of ten definitely let's have these burgers cheers mum. Yeah. Yeah. Different kind of cheeses, so that's why if you want to personalize your own burger, you can. Mm. So, we got milkshakes, but um, I know this serves no relevance to the video. However, you know, I love my biscoff, so we're gonna do a little taste test. Oh my god, no, you really can taste the biscoff in that. 100% 10 out of 10. So that was day one of my burger week complete at Halo Burger. Peep the shirt and I shall see you in the next day. The next burger spot we venture to was nearby Oxford Street, which is the well-renowned shopping hotspot within London. We visited a spot called Neat Burger. Neat Burger had also a great selection of vegan burgers. I really liked how the menu was interactive and that you could actually see what your burger looked like because I way prefer to see how something looks before actually ordering it off the menu. I also really loved the interior and the fun designs within Neat Burger itself. So I'm currently in Meat Burger for our next burger destination place and I'm seated in this absolutely fabulous burger seat here. So we are just waiting upon our burgers now which we checked in and yes, I'll let you guys know how the burgers are. But how fabulous is this chair? And this is also Louis Hamilton's Burger Hut so we'll test it out for you guys. 
Okay guys, so burgers have arrived. My mum has the double cheeseburger burger with the toto tots with extra cheesy sauce. We're both having the Biscoff milkshake. Grace has the chocolate milkshake with fries and then she just got a plain cheeseburger there. I got the double stack. Look how mahusive that is. It's layered with vegan mayonnaise, onion rings, some vegan gouda cheese. We've got two patties here with some lettuce and the bun on top too. We're gonna thoroughly much enjoy these and guys, we're gonna score them. So on the presentation, how are we thinking? 10. I really do think the presentation on this is really good. Nine out of 10, I would say, mm. definitely. Let's see what the taste is like. These tater spots, by the way, incredible. You deserve this, we more than deserve this. Whoa, this is thick and extra biscuity. I actually think that beats the Halo Burger milkshake. That 100% I can taste the biscuits and they even have biscuit biscuits on top. Honestly guys, look at the size of this. Incredible, absolutely incredible. Am I gonna, am I gonna put this in my mouth guys? What do you think? Oh my no. Christ. <laughs> oh you did, well done. Mm. Insane. These are absolutely insane, aren't they, guys? It's the cheese for me. The cheese makes it. So, burgers have been demolished. I'm gonna ask everyone's rating out of 10. I would have said that is a solid 9 out of 10. Those burgers were fat, juicy, and all round delicious. Grace yourself? Um, I'm pretty sure it was a 9.5. 9.5 from Grace, Mom, mother? Delicious, ten. It's incredible. Incredible. So, if you're looking for a good burger around the Oxford Street area, I would definitely say a neat burger. And we're back in Brixton, but ventured to the Brixton Arches, which has an array of restaurants of all sorts. Today, we're visiting a spot called Aoi. I absolutely loved the Aoi interior and was mesmerized by the burgers and sides they had to offer. I went for the sheep burger, which consisted of a Beyond Meat patty, vegan cheese, a crispy chicken patty with hot sauce, crispy onions and gherkins. The presentation of the burger was absolutely immaculate. I took Grace after school to dine with me and she had the crispy chicken tenders and waffle fries, which she even admitted that she would return here herself. Overall, the taste of the burgers were incredible and I highly, highly, highly recommend the trip to the Aoi. I never intended to go for the mac and cheese, but I saw it on the menu and I just felt obliged that I had to order it. Let me know if you want the best vegan mac and cheese in London because I will be so down for that. It's one of my favorites. Whenever I go somewhere, I have to have mac and cheese no matter where it is. If they have mac and cheese on the menu, I'm getting it. This one is incredible. Mm. We then headed to a spot within Shoreditch called The Burger Co, which I've boasted about on my channel previously. Again, a really great and hefty selection of vegan burgers, sides and drinks. Okay guys, so it's day number like four, I believe, of my burger exploration around London. We're currently in a place called The Burger Company, which I've been to before and I've shared it within my YouTube channel before as well. I know they do amazing burgers, but I'm gonna try out their limited edition barbecue brisket burger, and it's made of like mushrooms and jackfruit and things like that, so that'll be very exciting. I'm also with a very special guest, Fabulous Mel, give it a hi. <laughs> and she's also an avid burger lover too. Are you excited? Favourite, favourite food in the world. For sure. <laughs> so we'll catch up with you guys when the food arrives. 
<laughs> Guys, burgers are here. And we also got some mushroom fries as well because I love good mushroom or two. Mel has the crispy chicken burger there. And looks wise, it looks absolutely fabulous as per. And then we also have here the mushroom brisket burger, which, oh my goodness, probably the best looking burger I've seen all week. <laughs> Really Doesn't beautiful. it? It looks amazing and so colourful. I absolutely love it. I wonder how it's going to taste. Oh my Christ. Right, you know what I'm going to say. This is bigger than my head. <laughs> I always say that. Look how, look at the size of that. Christ alive. Should I cut this in half? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. How are you actually going to put it? It's got a hash brown bottom here with the brioche bun, lettuce, the mushrooms here with the cheese, some pickled red cabbage and some crispy coconut chips. Look, this is just going to be impossible to actually demolish all in one bite. It's, uh, uh, I can't even bite my one. Uh, <laughs> that's my attempt of a bite, so it means that I'm definitely going to chop it on half. As the barbecue brisket burger was limited edition, I really was intrigued to this particular burger as I'm quite familiar with the other burgers. This burger did not disappoint. The presentation and taste was purely a 10 out of 10 and I really enjoyed every single bite. The mushroom fries were also so beautiful. A nice chewy texture on the inside and crunchy texture on the outside. Something different to have rather than your average fries, but hits the spot so, 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 so well. Overall, a trip to the Burger Co. won't be something you'd like to miss when you're in London. We're in Shoreditch again and return to a spot called Mercy Burger within Box Park, which is also a cluster of food crates of all sorts. Mercy Burger is also a all vegan burger spot and had six different types of burgers using smash patties or deep fried vegan chicken. I went for the Nashville Hots whilst my mum went for the chili chicken and Grace went for the vegan chicken nuggets and chips. The Nashville Hot consisted of some onions, hot sauce, deep fried vegan chicken and gherkins. I thought the texture of the vegan chicken was bang on point and com completely different to the ones I've been having throughout the week. It was also freakishly realistic, but the overall taste was delicious. This burger was definitely the greasy kind, but was perfect to end the Friday on after running around at work kind of burger. So for the final destination of my burger road trip, we are headed to High Street Kensington, a burger spot called B Burger, located within a food court at the centre of High Street Kensington. Again, they had an extensive range of vegan options within the menu, seeing it was an all vegan burger spot. And they had a variety of burgers. I went with my fabulous colleague after work and she went with the Southern Fried Chicken Burger whilst I went for the Jacko Burger. The Jacko burger patty is made in house and is surrounded by a panko breadcrumb. I love that you could choose between a normal vegan brioche, a charcoal or a beetroot vegan brioche bun. The bun was so fluffy and I loved, loved, loved the flavour of the burger. My colleague isn't vegan but even the following day at work she was still thinking about the burgers we had the previous day. We also shared the truffle infused fries which were highly recommended and I second that because they were so delicious. Overall I recommend Bee Burger and their unique jackfruit patty in particular. And that is where I'm going to conclude this burger hunt here guys. If I had to pick my favourite, it would probably be the Aoi Burger. Honestly, it was just out of this world and a definitely must try. Along with all the other burger places, they were all fabulous. Defo, give them a go and let me know how it goes. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye!